like to discuss how you can walk the whole DOM tree using the browser native functions. So let's get started. Uh, let me show you the code and then we can go from there. Uh, here is just an example HTML that we want to kind of go through. And I gave you an example and it's uh, pretty straightforward. There's nothing in here. To walk the DOM with using the native functions, uh, basically you just need to write a recursive function. And the way we are going to do it is uh, fairly straightforward. This is the function and it takes a node and it takes a function. So first thing we do is we call the function on the node that may be just like printing something, uh, which is what I'm doing in this example. And uh, uh, so at the node, it does that. And then it goes and checks the node first child. This is the, uh, um, this is the way you can access the first child. And basically then it says while the first child is uh, okay, uh, I'm going to walk the DOM, basically call this function recursively, give this node and the same function back in again. When I come back from walk the DOM, which will be basically when the node is now, and I'm going to traverse to the next sibling. And this is all this is uh, uh, the function is doing. It should be able to walk the whole DOM. And uh, as an example, I'm calling it in the document.body here. And uh, I want to just see when this node gets called at every point, uh, what is uh, the various things that I can check for it. So the couple of things you can check is something called the node type and also the node name. So we're going to print that. So let's see if I run this on this particular example, what happens. So it's basically traversing the DOM and uh, as you can see, first thing it says is type one is the node uh, uh, name and the, uh, the name is body. Uh, you can see here, if I look at it, now what we are printing is the node type, which is one and the name is whatever the name is. So it is getting, uh, type one is an important element. It's called uh, the element and the name is here in case is the body. The next one is the three, which is essentially the text element. And there you can see, uh, again, it comes up with type one name. A is the attribute because this is just a link. So we get the attribute. And then we got an H2, which was the header. This is the heading. You can see the name is H2. In keeping going down, you can see there's a name called button, name on, on order list, uh, list element, and all of that. So if you wonder what all these different types are, you can easily check it in Chrome, for example. You can just hit a, put a breakpoint here in this function where it is printing this. And I'm going to do that. And here is the thing that is coming in, right? Note. And if you want to check what it is, you can just say node dot. And here you can see various things. Uh, here come uh, the values you can check. Attribute node, uh, element node, for example. So if you want to check if it's an element node, you could just say node dot element node and you can see the values one. So that's how you can uh, map it to various values. And if you want, you can look at the spec. But this is a pretty easy way to walk through the whole DOM and to able to figure out uh, various uh, different elements and nodes. And it can be pretty interesting. If you want it to traverse instead of the just the body, the whole uh, DOM itself, you could just uh, give it the whole document and then you can see it is going to have a little bit more uh, things in here. And you can see the type, uh, node type is nine, which is the document and then the type is 10. And you can uh, look through again as to what these types are, for example. And uh, you can see the node dot uh, types uh, here are different types, document type node, let's see what it is. So you can see the document type node is 10. So this is a, actually a pretty easy way to kind of figure out and play around with these things if you want to play with native uh, browser functions instead of the jQuery. Uh, thanks for watching this show. If you want to look at some other videos, you can just go to my website and search for various uh, videos, including my videos plus all the other uh, good videos that you can learn from. Thank you for watching this short screencast.